A secret train station hidden beneath one of the most famous hotels in the world? A secret room discovered centuries later in an ancient castle. The world is full of secret, mysterious rooms hidden in places you thought you knew about. Let's waste no time and dive right in. Starting off today, let's dive beneath the surface of one of the world's most iconic landmarks. The Colosseum. But I'm not talking about the amphitheater you see in postcards, that wouldn't be very secret of me. No, I'm talking about its hidden underbelly, the Hypogeum. This subterranean labyrinth was the backstage of the ancient world where the magic of the games came to life. Here, amidst the network of passageways and chambers, elaborate machinery conjured astonishing special effects, beasts roared in anticipation, and gladiators prepared for their moment in the arena. It's like discovering the secret behind a magician's trick, but on a colossal scale. And guess what? This mysterious underworld isn't just a tale from the past. Today, with the right ticket or a tour with certain companies with exclusive access, you can tread these ancient corridors yourself. Imagine standing where lions once prowled and where warriors braced for battle. It's not just a tour, it's kind of like a time machine whisking you back to the heart-pounding spectacle of ancient Rome. So. Are you ready to explore the depths of history? All right, next on our list, we have the hidden train station of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, located in New York. Not only is the Waldorf Astoria considered to be one of the most luxurious hotels in New York, it has also been the resting place for some pretty famous and infamous heads, including Nikola Tesla, the inventor of the Tesla coil, Charles Lucky Luciano, the figurehead of organized crime, Frank Sinatra, music artist Harry S. Truman, the 33rd president, Marilyn Monroe, actress and happy birthday Mr. President singer, Muhammad Ali, boxer, you get the point, the list goes on and on. While most of these guests came and went within a year, there is one standout that stayed for just a bit longer. Herbert Hoover, the 31st president who lived in the hotel for a full 30 years. The railway had been used as a mode of transportation during World War II, and it was later used again by hotel guest Franklin D. Roosevelt as a way to sneak in and out of the hotel, because the train could take him right to his childhood hometown and was accessible by an elevator connected to the presidential suite. Many people also believe that FDR at one time used the train to hide his paralysis from the public because he could get in and out of the hotel without being seen by anyone. The more you know. Have you ever noticed that a peculiar unnamed green patch on the Disney World map floating mysteriously in Bay Lake? Well, that is no ordinary island, it's the remnants of Discovery Island, a once thriving theme park dedicated to our feathered friends and just the wonders of nature. Closed in 1999, this island has transformed from a bustling avian paradise into something more reminiscent of a scene from a post-apocalyptic movie. Imagine sneaking onto an abandoned island where the echoes of laughter have been replaced by silence, and all that remains are relics of the past, a deserted snack bar, an eerie animal hospital frozen in time, and even a desolate loading dock, just to really get that kind of liminal space vibe going. Through the lens of daring adventurers who've documented their illicit explorations, we do get a rare glimpse into a place where the Disney magic has faded, leaving behind a hauntingly fascinating landscape that time just kind of forgot. So what mysterious tales does this forgotten island hold? Well. Maybe that's a story for another time. Our next famous location today is none other than the Brooklyn Bridge, which held the title of longest suspension bridge in the world for just about 20 years before it lost the title to the Williamsburg Bridge, who overtook it by just 4.5. Feet. While at least 20 people died during the bridge's construction, when the Brooklyn Bridge opened, there was a massive celebration. Unfortunately, a week later, 12 more people died on the bridge after a rumor claiming it was going to collapse caused a panic among civilians. Later in 1884, circus entertainer P.T. Barnum would attempt to soothe the public's nerves by leading 21 elephants over the bridge to show its ability to withstand extreme amounts of weight. And this was successful, so yeah, he got his 
Point de Grasse. A year after that, Robert E. Oldlam, a swimming instructor, attempted to dive off the bridge into the river. He died, but ironically, a number of later jumpers actually survived the act. Hidden within the ramps leading to the East River on both sides of the bridge are two massive wine cellars. This is my kind of hidden place. While both of them are mostly empty today, at one time they were pretty full. In the early 20th century, the historic cellars were rented out to the public as a way to fund the bridge. Today, only a very special few have had the opportunity to venture inside the bridge cellars cold walls as it is not currently open to the public, but you know, a girl can dream. In 2013, a team of archaeologists dusting off centuries of history stumbled upon a hidden gem within the venerable walls of Scotland's most ancient castle, still standing guard through the ages. Drum Castle, which is located in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, for centuries was the seat of the chief of Clan Irvine, which dates back to the 13th century. So again, flash forward to the team of archaeologists in 2013, and what do they find? Well, tucked away from the eyes of time itself was a secret medieval chamber, a room halted in a moment long past, holding its breath and just waiting to be rediscovered. And what's inside? None other than an ancient lavatory, so marvelously preserved that even the original toilet seat was still perched in place, ready for use after hundreds of years. It's like the castle itself had been keeping its own little secrets, waiting for just the right moment to reveal a slice of everyday life from an era gone by. How's that for a historical deep dive? Next up, we have the Hidden Room, located at the Leonardo da Vinci Airport, created by Asen Piekov during World War II, after winning a competition used to determine the designer of the piece. While the statue was unveiled in 1960, it wasn't until the statue's renovation in 2006 that the secret room was discovered. Inside of the room were two parchment scrolls. One, a detailed history of the area, written in classical Latin, of course. The other, a list of attendees from the opening ceremony. Many people believe the hidden room was included in the original design of the statue, created by Asan Piekov. However, others believe it was implemented during the building process, as a secret place to hold meetings involving sensitive information. Whatever the reason, the statue, along with the presence of the secret room, certainly pays homage to its namesake, who is well known today for the mystery behind his many inventions and various works of art. I know this one is like a little off kilter. It's not a secret room found in an ancient landmark, but it is a secret room found in someone's apartment. And I don't know about you guys, but I believe that that is equally as fascinating. Maybe a little less like important historically, but very interesting nonetheless. The TikTok user Erin Cloudy was doing some renovations when she took to TikTok to let the world know that she had found in her recently purchased 200 year old flat. You know, like the cupboard under the stairs from Harry Potter. We all wanted one as a kid. Well, <laughs> at least I did. I don't know if that says a lot about me, but Erin got that and so much more when under her stairs, she found another set of stairs. Her TikTok video racked up 140 million views, and for a good reason. Where the f*** do these stairs go? Like the good Samaritan Erin is, she didn't let the people down and continued to investigate and post the progress to TikTok. She revealed that her flat was considered a basement flat, and on no paperwork was there ever mention of something being beneath them. After some searching and climbing through the debris, they were able to locate a completely abandoned secret room in her home. Through more renovations and more searching, they found more boarded up doors, a bread oven, and even some secret tunnels. Now, I'm not sure how many of you have seen Barbarian, but it's safe to say that if that was me, I'd be selling that flat back immediately. All right? If you know, you know. Next up, we have the secret of Milano Centrale. I actually had the opportunity to visit this train station during a locomotive layover last September, but the only secret I discovered was that the McDonald's in Italy is way better than in Canada or the US. Like, you can get avocado chicken burgers, bacon cheese fries, and chicken wings. I'm sure that's not all, but because this video isn't sponsored by McDonald's, sponsor us McDonald's, I'm gonna move on. Hidden within the walls of Milano Centrale lies a royal pavilion that goes unnoticed by the almost 300 
1,000 people who passed through the train station every single day. It was built around 1925 as a separate waiting space for the royal family at the time who frequented the station. The pavilion, once adorned with an obscene amount of fascist symbols and 1941 Germany symbolism as well, is closed to the public, but it is used on rare occasions for special events and photo shoots. I can honestly say that I have never been to Wisconsin, so you can tell me if it's strange, but I was truly shocked to hear of the Apostle Islands located in the state. I'm not sure what I thought Wisconsin was like, but it definitely was not this. The Apostle Islands are a group of 22 islands in Lake Superior off of the Bayfield Peninsula in northern Wisconsin. Through archaeological research done in the area, scientists have determined that human activity began on these islands as early as 100 BC. That is absolutely wild. The earliest full-time settlers to the area were the Anishabe peoples, and some of their journeys were preserved in these incredible birch bark scrolls, some of which are now being preserved at the Smithsonian Museum. While this place has an incredibly rich and interesting history, it also has so much to offer in our modern days. There are brilliant sandstone walls in the area that look almost too incredible to be naturally made. There are tons of lighthouses here, water activities, and it seems as if we could do an entire list on just the history of the Apostle Islands. Should we do that? Would you watch it? Let me know. We can make that happen. And to finish this off today, we have the secret place I might most like to visit, the Lucky 7 Lounge, located inside of Pixar Studios in Emeryville, California. Why? Well, because I love a speakeasy and I love Pixar. The lounge came to be after animator Andrew Gordon discovered a small hatch on the back wall of his new office. He opened it to reveal an empty room, and so Andrew got to decorating. Word spread, and the bar became a regular hangout spot for executives and important guests. Eventually, the hatch was replaced with a sliding bookcase equipped with a hidden button for easy access to the lounge. One of the most frequent visitors of the Lucky 7 Lounge was Steve Jobs. In fact, the lounge was even mentioned in Jobs' biography, written by Walter Isaacson, who refers to it as the Love Lounge, because according to him, Steve loved to be there, and he loved to bring his friends. Of course, the majority of us will never get the opportunity to set foot inside of this tiny bar or the office it resides in, but it is still cool to think about. If you could visit any of these secret places, which one would you choose? Let us know down below in the comments. Yeah, we, I, we, I look at them, you know? So yeah, um, we're always watching. <laughs> I've been one of your hosts today, Olivia Kozlowski. I've been the other one, Hannah Thompson. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Is this, yeah? Yeah, let's do it, whatever. <laughs> let's waste no time and dive right in. Awesome, unlike my giant paws just there. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Are you ready to explore the depths of history? You tell me. <laughs> Degrassi and the drums. <laughs> oh no, Pinocchio. <clears throat> you can ask that. <laughs>